Hi guys, I'm Hugo, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're going to be making quick veggie ramen with purple sprouting broccoli. I absolutely love ramen but I hate waiting for it to cook. You know, traditional ramen takes ages for you to make this wonderful rich broth which is great and everything but when I come home from a long day at work I don't really want to be waiting around to, for this 12 hour vegetable broth to mature. Uh, so this recipe here is for my quick veggie uh, ramen which only takes around 35 minutes to make this wonderful smooth rich and subtly spicy ramen which is going to go great with these chewy udon noodles and the crunch of the purple spudding broccoli to give a little bit of texture to the soup. Really 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 recommend this recipe I guess I always say that but this one is really excellent for when you've got not enough time and you want to have something hearty and filling to plate up to the family to the friends or whatever. So let's just get into the recipe. Okay before we start the recipe actually I should give a quick introduction to purple sprouting broccoli. It is exactly how it sounds. It's purple, it's sprouting and it's broccoli and it's excellent for this time of the year um, from March until roughly around April when it's in season because Commonly in the UK, this is what is referred to as the hungry gap. Now, what is the hungry gap? A hungry gap is actually a period of time in the British seasonal calendar or the British produce calendar um, where you know the spring or the summer crops are yet to actually grow, so you can't have them on the shelves, and the winter and the autumn crops are like running out. So things like a your kales and your cabbages and also your stored roots and like your carrots and your potatoes they're starting to run dry and they're starting not to be available so this is a period of time where there's kind of like a gap in the in the seasonal uh, calendar where nothing really gets produced apart from so a, a select few vegetables and purple sprouting broccoli is one of these seasonal stars that is available in the at this time of the year and the reason why is because it over winters it grows over the winter and it starts producing these wonderful florets around this time of the year so it's an excellent um, addition to your seasonal palette or your seasonal plates if you want to start you know getting your hands on the British produce at this point of the year really recommend it go out look for it on your supermarkets and your grocers it's widely available now and you should definitely give it a go Okay, let's get into the recipe. First thing we're going to do to prep the ramen is we're going to chop some vegetables that are going to go in the bottom of the ramen. And that is going to be two onions, two cloves of garlic, and a roughly a thumb-sized piece of ginger. We're just going to peel and roughly chop these now. Okay, all our veggies are nicely chopped and into our pan. Now I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of vegetable oil and we're just gonna cook those or sweat those for around two to four minutes until the onion starts to get see-through. So it's been about two or three minutes and our onions have cooked off nicely. They're starting to be pretty translucent there. Um, and now we're gonna add in the rest of our ingredients to the base of this ramen. So the first thing I'm gonna add is I've got around 10 shiitake mushrooms, dried shiitake mushrooms that I've soaked in around in 150 ml of plain water. And you wanna soak these for about 10 minutes, just until they start to soften, they're a little, they're, more, they're squeezy, and they've imparted this wonderful color into the water. So we're just gonna tip all of that in. And then I have a tablespoon of tomato paste, a tablespoon of miso paste, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sugar, and half a tablespoon of gojang chili paste. Now, I just wanna take a moment here to tell you what gojang, I think I'm pronouncing that correct. Gochujang. Hello darkness, my old friend. This is fermented Korean chili paste and is a wonder ingredient. If you don't have this in your pantry already, you're missing out. This is excellent for anything like these soups or broths or anything you want to impart flavor to. Also really good with stir fries. It comes in, you'll see a wide variety of people produce them. 
um, brand, different brands produce them, but they always, for some reason, come in this red and gold um, style um, kind of box. So you can pick them up at your local Asian supermarket, um, or if you must, they are also available on Amazon and Whole Foods, etc. Um, so you can pick it up there as well. Really recommend it, and this is going to add a whole load of flavor to this ramen broth. Okay, so we're just going to stir in all of these ingredients here. And I'm just going to increase the heat of the pan until it's at like a, a bit of a boil. And the idea here is that we want to just reduce down that liquid a little bit, um, and then we're going to add in the stock. Okay, so it's been about a minute, and um, you can see that this has nicely reduced down. It's quite thick on the bottom of the, of the pan. Um, and now we're going to add in a litre of vegetable stock. Once you've added the vegetable stock in, just turn off the pan from the heat and we're just going to blend the contents of the pan into a smooth, consistent sauce. I'm going to use a stick blender here, which is this kind of instrument. I just shove it in and then bl blend it. You can just use a normal traditional blender, just decant the broth into the blender, blitz it until it's smooth as well. This is just a little bit easier so I don't have to decant and wash up other stuff. Okay, I'm going to blitz this now. Okay, that's nicely blitzed down. So you can see there, it's pretty smooth. It's still got a little bit of flex of the mushrooms in there, but you really don't want to have anything large like the onion pieces. It wants to be all incorporated into the, into the, to the broth. So I'm just going to put, bring this up to a simmer and then place a lid on it and we're going to cook it for around 20 minutes which is just going to give uh, the broth a little bit more flavour, a little bit more time to mature um, and we'll go from there. So it's been 20 minutes and our ramen broth has nicely simmered away and is wonderfully rich and thick. I don't know if you can see on the camera there but it's, it's beautifully smooth. And so now, no ramen will be complete with adding some lovely noodles to it. So here we've got 300 grams of pre-cooked udon noodles. And you can get these in just most regular supermarkets. Now, you can also, if you can't find these, use the, the dried variety of udon noodles. But I, honestly, these ones would work way better. They're much thicker, much chewier. So just keep an eye out for them. Um, yeah. And we're just going to place these in to the broth and I'm just going to slowly whilst the broth is simmering away just break apart these pre-cooked udon noodles until they you can see individual noodles and it's not like a mess of just pressed together noodles. So two or three minutes later and you can see now that our udon noodles are nicely broken apart. So I'm just going to turn that off and we're just going to prep the purple spider broccoli before we uh, shove it into the ramen and so you have your individual stems of purple spreading broccoli and we just want to slice them in half just lengthways just so they give a bit more uh, volume and cook a little bit quicker so I'm just going to do that to the rest of this 200 grams okay so all the broccoli sliced there nicely and we just plonk it into your ramen and just push it down into the broth and just give it a little bit of stir and just leave this for about a couple of minutes or so just to sit and the, the broccoli will naturally wilt and will naturally cook with a hot soup. There's no need to add any more boiling or any more heat. It will just naturally cook down. I can see after about a minute or two, two minutes or so that this, uh, this broccoli is nicely cooked down and you want it still a little bit of a crunch to the broccoli. So it doesn't want to be soggy. It wants to be crunchy to add that little bit of texture into the ramen. Um, so very simple to plate up. Just grab a ladle, grab some of the ramen broth, some more noodles to place over the top, and a couple of the broccolis. Finish off the ramen with some freshly chopped spring onion, just a little bit of sesame seeds, and there we go. Quick veggie ramen done. You got Okay guys, thanks for watching the recipe. The set at start, this is a really excellent dish if you're short on time and you want something that's maximum flavor for maximum, for minimum effort. Um, 
really enjoyed this one and you're gonna love it too. The crunch of the broccoli with the salty, rich, umami uh, broth and the chewy noodles is just a really great combination. Um, if you have any questions about this recipe, as always, leave them in the section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Uh, the full recipe for this is in the description. Uh, check it out. There's other recipes in there which I'll link to as well. Um, and yep, as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.